Hi everyone, this is Mohamed Alain. This is a part 2 session of a Windows 2003 cluster configuration of VMware virtual machine. Uh, in the last video, we have reviewed the virtual machine networking settings. Let's configure the a shared disk for virtual machine. So, just go to the one of the node, click on edit settings. We have to click on add. Where we'll add another desk, hard desk. Click on next, create a new virtual desk. I'm going to use this desk for a quorum desk. So let's configure this uh, 1 GB. We have to select the option support clustering features such as fault tolerance so the disk can be shared among a different virtual machine should be enabled here so it will create a thick format of virtual disk click on next here click on next click on finish so here one thing we have to change is Gotta go to the SCSI adapter, and there are three SCSI bus sharing option available in the VMware virtual machine settings. The first is none. The virtual disk cannot be shared between virtual machine if the option is set as none. If you have selected virtual, the virtual disk can be shared between the virtual machines on the same server. Let's take a scenario if both the 2003 node 1 and node 2 are on the same host that is ESX test 1 want to set up a cluster in a box better select the option virtual but in our case we're going to set up a cluster across a box so we have to go with the option physical that is the virtual disk can be shared between the virtual machines on any server okay let's configure Click on OK. So, a creation of virtual disk is in progress. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another hard disk uh, that is used as a resource, a shared disk for cluster. This is the same procedure. When I add how many disks, you can go ahead with the same procedure. Click on hard disk, create a new virtual hard disk. Here I'm, to, I'm going to give a 5 GB. Let's select support clustering features such as fault tolerance. Click on next. I'm going to select the 204. Next, finish. And the same settings as I'm going to use this disk for cluster across the box so I have to select a type as physical for Windows 2003 uh, this CASI control type is LSI logic pair so you can go with the default for 2008 you have to select LSI logic SAS so now I'm going to create the second virtual hard disk click on OK so it's in the progress virtual disk creation is completed so let's power on the VM node 1 let's configure the virtual machine settings including a virtual network setting for this particular node and we'll configure the disk which we have currently provisioned for this VM let's log into the VM and 
we prepare the VM for cluster installation. Both the VMs are part of a domain lab.com. So I have a two uh, NIC cards, one is for public network, that is in the 192.168.0.192.168.0. subnet, that is used for a public communication for accessing the application which is running on the cluster so the IP address is 192.168 over at the 3 and we should have a this is the second network adapter with 10.0.0.1 this is for private network communication that is a heartbeat communication for cluster nodes Let's go there. Disk management. And let's open up the disk management. Uh, we have configured two disks. Let's name the first disk as Quorum Disk. and create a new partition for that yes I'm assigning the trial letter E connects let's name this as uh, cluster disk the formatting is going on Now both the disks are ready. Clock on disk and disk E. Both the disks are ready. And it's available in the node 1. Let's go back to the node 2. We'll add the particular disk which we have provisioned on the node 1 so that uh, both the disks will be. Shared among the two nodes. Put the node one VM settings. We'll add the disk. So here the only difference uh, on the steps is on the node one we have created a new disk, but on the node two we have to select on existing disk which we have already provisioned on the node 1 so we have to select use an existing virtual disk option here We stored the disk on S6 storage one, that is a shared storage. Open up the node one. Yeah. Uh, there are two disks which we have added. There are three disks actually. Node one that is the operating system disk and node uh, the disk one is column disk and disk two is a cluster disk which we have added. Can okay for this next. Let's select 
SCSI one of four adapter and next finish and here the SCSI controller settings and everything is same we have to add as physical all same steps existing virtual disk browse and one we have to add the BMDK disk too that is a cluster disk which we have provisioned already yes okay and next select the adapter 204 Go to the SCSI controller settings and change it to physical. Click on OK. Now, reconfiguring virtual machine is going on. So now the virtual disk are shared between the two VMs. Let's power on the VM. Log into the VM to configure the desk and network settings. I have a two network adapter cards, one which is one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot forty four. That is for public IP address and the second one is for heartbeat network that is the private communication between the cluster nodes that's 10.0.0.2 and let's verify the network communication between the node and node by pinging both IP address this is the public IP address of node 1, so it's reachable. Let's ping the heartbeat network too. Yes, both are communicating. Let's close this. Go to the disk management. Open up the disk management. Now, uh, both the disk which we have partitioned on the node 1 is showing up without any drive letter so we have to assign the same drive letter which we have mentioned in the node 1 settings so the two disk that is worth of 1 GB and 5 GB is visible now I click on the disk change drive letter and path Quorum disk we have assigned the drive letter Q. Let's assign the same one here too. Go to the another disk, change drive letter and path. Okay. Then okay. Now both the disk are assigned and it's ready. The disk and network settings are ready and both the disk are shared between the two nodes. Let's see the another settings on the step-by-step -step procedure of configuring cluster on part 3. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.